never seen an administration, uh, which I had hopes for when it started. Never have I seen one like this. We have had county executives going back to H. Lee Dennison. All of those administrations, covering all of those years, never had an appointee, never even, not even close, who brought on such scandal and such disgrace um, that also tied into the um, county uh, district attorney and his uh, corruptions bureau chief, assistant district attorney, um, they and the police chief, all their nefarious activities, their illegal corrupt activities, ended up putting them all in jail. And this started with an appointment by a county executive that should never have been made, that uh, Bologna was warned not to make, and went ahead and made it anyway. And then, and then what's worse is all of what was predicted would be so bad in the appointment started to unfold and become clearly true. And they tolerated it. They looked the other way. And I don't want to go into all the instances of what I saw and heard and became convinced of that they, they knew about and looked away, except one. And that's the investigation of the Gilgo Beach murders. And how could they? How could they participate, possibly, or at the very least, turn their heads in the other direction as the investigation in its early stages of the murders of these poor women? How could they look the other way when the investigation started to get to make headway, especially when the Federal Bureau of Investigation joined in? And then the police chief that they appointed who himself later went to jail for other things, throws them out? And where are they about that? Where was the county legislature about that? Where was the presiding officer? Where was the public safety committee, as it's called? They, they all were out to lunch, and it implicates all of them just as much.